Several D.C. schools have been shut down over the past few years, but the closures may have come too soon. As ABC's Natasha Barrett reports, tens of thousands of new students are expected to flood public classrooms over the next several years. Wake up when the snow melts. Some schools in D.C. are filled with students in every classroom seat. And U.S. Census figures show that D.C. will need space for 33,000 more children in schools over the next five years. But where will they go to school? D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray says there are some schools that have empty seats in their classrooms, several very under capacity. As the need presents itself, we'll have buildings that will be available for our kids. However, a new report by D.C. Action for Children finds not not all D.C. neighborhoods have the same strong school resources for students, like quality child care, early care, and access to pre-K slots. We think every child is entitled to a quality education, um, regardless of where they live. More young adults seem to be calling D.C. home in the last 10 years and are raising their families in D.C., although parents say where they send their kids to school depends on what kind of education is available. We've been building a system in anticipation of, of making sure we start children at an early point. Well, some D.C. schools are already adding to their early childhood education, like Garrison Elementary, adding pre-K seats for next year. And that same school was on the chopping block. From the newsroom, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News.